Hello and welcome to the C Sharp tutorial series. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the console read function. Okay, so you know that we put this in the first tutorial to stop the program from exiting. So if we just run it right now, it doesn't do anything. We put stuff in, but once we press enter, it exits out. What this basically does is it takes your user input and specifically read line and uh, when you type something in and press enter, it takes that line and it spits it out. Uh, the cool thing we can do with this is, remember our string variables? Uh, let's see, just name this test. Well, we can assign values using this function. We can say test equals, you know what, test is not a good name. Let's name it name. Don't add a comma in there. Okay. Now what we can do is say name equals console dot read line. And what this will basically do is take the name variable and set it equal to whatever we type in in that line. And then we can say console dot write. Write line. Okay, and we can say my name is name. Okay, pretty simple, right? You just say spit out name. Get name from user. So if we run this, it's blank right now. If I type in Peter, it says my name is Peter. If we type in Bob, it'll say my name is Bob. So that's pretty much it. I'm just going to say console.write line, uh, enter your name. There we go. So we ask for his name, enter your name, say my name is Bob. We'll say my name is Bob. Great. Okay. What we can also do is we can get integers with this, or basically any type of number. So let's erase everything. And I'm just going to say int uh, first number, int second number. And we can say first number equals console dot, not, not dot right, dot read line. Right now, this is going to give us an error. The reason being is we're trying to give a string value to an integer. And as you know, we said we want first number to be an integer, so we can't give it a string value. So what we have to do is we have to use the convert class. So we have to say convert dot to int 32. Uh, you'll see int 16 and 32 and 64. What those basically mean is uh, how much how much memory you want to take up. So integers usually take up 32. Uh, I forgot if it's, I think it was bytes or bits or something like that. I don't remember. But uh, shorts take up 16. Don't worry about these extra data types. You probably won't have to use them. They're basically exactly like integers, except they take up less memory and you can store less smaller numbers in them. And there's other things called long. That's your 64-bit one. Uh, it can hold more information, but also takes up more memory. So integer will do fine for our uses. We're just going to use that, int 32. So what's going to do is convert this string into an integer for us, and then it's going to give us to this first number. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and do it to our second number. Uh, right here, second number. Okay, and I'm just going to write some message to, uh, so the user won't be completely confused. Enter two numbers. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to say five and five. It works, right? So I'm going to add, so I'm going to 
put our numbers to the screen. And one easy way to do this is console dot right line, and we're going to say the sum of the two numbers is, and we're going to say plus, and we're going to put parentheses around this first. Oops, not that first number what the heck plus second number good and what this will basically do the reason we're putting these parentheses around here is uh we don't want these to add the separate numbers together like a string we want them to do a mathematical equation within these parentheses and then output to a string uh, so that's basically why we're doing that. So if we uh, run this, we enter 5 and 4, uh, we get 9, because 5 plus 4 equals 9. So that's how you get integers. I think I'm going to end that tutorial here. You successfully learned how to get user input from uh, two strings and two integers, or any number related thing. By the way, to get doubles, it's really easy, just do convert dot to double. And to get floats, it's really easy. You just convert dot to double and in the front of here you just want to put float in parentheses in front of this thing. I'm getting an error right now because this is an integer, I can give a float to an integer. So if you had this a float, it wouldn't give me an error. Okay, so subscribe, like, hope you've seen that. Hope to see you in the next tutorial and have a nice day.